Well, the early stages of the Olympics have seen plenty of outstanding performances in the pool, with even more medal action in the coming hours. Australia are currently leading the swimming medals table with three golds, and we'll be looking to add more later on. Well, Angela Wilson competed for Great Britain at the European World and Commonwealth Games as a swimmer in the pool, of course. Angela joins us now. Oh, lovely to see you. So I assume Thank you've been you. watching what's been going on uh, pretty closely. What do you make of the competition so far? I think it's been really interesting to see all the swimmers uh, competing and doing well. Um, I think some of the games could have been a little bit better. I think some of the swimmers have been swimming quite slowly this time than they did in the last Olympic Games. So that's been a little bit disappointing, I think, for some of them. I want to talk first of all about Adam Peaty. We saw him there, um, sadly now suffering from COVID, but he ended up uh, winning his medal uh, by a tiny margin, just a two hundredth of a second. Is there anything that swimmers can do uh, to give them the edge in, in this kind of a tight race? Well, believe it or not, I actually missed out on my place in the Olympic Games uh, by one tenth uh, of a second when I was only 16. And I think there's so many factors that come down when you're competing at that level everything matters everything counts and all the athletes i know train very hard and have trained very hard for this event and they have put their whole lives on hold just to be here so there isn't really any more they can do once they get to this point for the olympics but it's all the things surrounding them the games um, and also the athletes village the run up to the comp competition everything matters at this stage so we've had a couple of athletes with these uh, very uh, tiny margins between them. At the other extreme, we have uh, Canada's Summer McIntosh. Uh, she ended up winning her medal with second. When you're talking about 100 metres, there's not very much between the swimmers when we're talking longer distances. Then the swimmers do tend to get a better advantage, and that makes a big difference. So you said before that uh, you felt like some of the swimmers have been swimming slower than perhaps last time. How does yes. the pool and perhaps the venue affect uh, the swimmers and perhaps the kind of times that they can do? Well, I think the pool is obviously very important because at the moment the swimmers are finding that the pool is too shallow. And that has been a bit of a controversy around when they're swimming. And what happens when the water is shallow is it makes them... Angela, great to speak to you. Thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us Thank today. You. That's uh, Angela Wilson, the former competitive swimmer.